Maybe I have a chance. Deserve me. You wouldn't be able to handle me. I'm too powerful for you. My GFV is too strong for you, Chet. Yeah, uh, you know, I'm, I'm in favor of uh, execution. Maybe, maybe our entire team needs to be executed after tonight. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Legal Mindset. I am back. I'm still in the Philippines, so we're going to talk about that. We'll get into that today. Hopefully we're looking good. I switched connections here, so we're uh, we're on a better Wi-Fi. It looks like it's doing all right, although I'm keeping it 740p for today, not 1080. But it's good to see you guys. It's great to be back. Great to be back streaming again. Super excited. Uh, I've got lots of clips, lots of stuff to talk about today. Uh, it's going to be crazy, uh, but literally, I'm really happy to be here uh, with you guys. Uh, of course, this is a legal mindset. We teach you to be your own judge. I'm Andrew Esquire, American attorney living over here in Asia. And shout out to all of my uh, folks over here as well. I see uh, I got a big shout out from Indonesia. So my uh, Filipinos out here in the chat. Uh, maybe some of you saw my post about the apartment uh, criteria on X. Uh, that one was kind of crazy. But by the way, uh, just real quick disclosure on that one. That was one place. There's like so many other places that did not have those crazy criteria, uh, but this one place did. And I was just like, what the fuck? I've never seen this before. Uh, but anyways, uh, really good to see everybody uh, here today. I was in Boracay uh, for the last four days. So obviously I was on the beach. I went parasailing. I was snorkeling. I was just like at the beach. So I was not paying attention to streaming or whatever else. Uh, I was completely checked out. So, uh, so yeah. So, sorry about that. Guy. Sorry, not sorry. Sorry, not sorry. I also have a horrible sunburn. So, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. Uh, but I'm here today, here for you guys. And so much happened. So much happened while I was not streaming. It was insane. And that's why today is going to be kind of a mega stream because there's so much to go over from when I was gone. We're going to start with the AR live event, which is obviously one of the biggest things that happened while I was gone. Uh, and then we're going to get into the attempt to cancel me because that kind of happened. It actually happened right before I went to Boracay, but I decided not to cover it right away. I just wanted to see like what came of it. But now I'm just going to dunk on these fools, which is going to be great. Um, so we're going to dunk on some Niji sisters uh, who failed to cancel people over the use of the word Niji sister. We're going to get into that. Um, and then we've got, what do we got? We got any colors quality control, which is like $7 an hour help. We're going to talk about that. Let's see what else we got here. Um, we got people, yeah, people calling me, all sorts of stuff, trying to cancel me. We got that. Then we've got Yuri Shirakawa. Now, Yuri Shirakawa is an interesting case. She is one of the uh, folks that uh, was, let's say, targeted by a certain company. She's one of those, if you guys remember my coverage, Yuri Shirakawa is one of those, is, is that case where the person was told to write the letter about how stupid they were. Remember that? Remember me covering that? Well, Yuri reached out to me um, about uh, helping her out and about, um, you know, uh, needing some uh, support. So I said, you know what? I'll, I'll bring it up on the stream. I'll, I'll, I'll throw it out there. I'll put it in the description, which, by the way, it's in the description. And uh, I'll bring that up because I want to help people, despite what people may think. Then we're going to talk about the Helldivers contract. And also, we're going to talk about the general principles by which I edit contracts. So what am I thinking when I am editing contracts? In fact, we may do that before the Helldivers contract. Because I have submitted my comments to Idle. So Idol, uh, at least uh, Aviel, the CEO, he now has my comments on the Idol VTuber contract. As you guys may or may not know, I was um, paid by Idol to give them comments 
on the idol contract. That does not mean that I have the final say. They, in fact, have an entire law firm that is dedicated to writing the uh, writing the contract. I'm representing the interests from the side of the livers, from the side of the VTubers, right? So I'm saying here's some edits. Also, I'm giving them professional edits to clean up the contract from a U.S. attorney's standpoint because um, – and I don't want to go too much into details, but some of the attorneys that, that were, were non-U.S., I believe. So, you know, just making it, okay, this is what it would look like in the U.S., right? So, um, so yeah, I'll give, go over my general guiding principles for editing a contract. I think that's actually something that's fun. And doing that in light of the Helldivers contract is, is actually fun. So, like, there's the, the Helldivers for fun, and then for real, we're going to talk about Idol. Uh, and, and, you know, I love to rebunk the people that thought I was the only or dunk on them who thought I was the only lawyer looking at it. No, of course not. Of course not. Uh, just going through it all. And yes, you saw the original contract. Yes, uh, I have. Aviel admitted it. I, I've, got, I've got the full idle contract. I've not just seen it. I've now submitted my comments to them. Now, they may not adopt all of my comments. They may disagree with me. In fact, I will be shocked if they adopt all of my comments. However, uh, my comments were all good from the sense of clarifying it, from the sense of the U.S. standard, and for sense of uh, making it better for, um, for the talent. Right. That's what I'm doing. So uh, hopefully this becomes the golden standard contract across the entire industry. So it really throws all this Niji Sanji, Kura Sanji, VNU bullshit out the window, because what they were doing, VNU, what Niji Sanji is doing is predatory. It is predatory. And it's just it's wrong. It's absolutely wrong. Uh, but that said, let's get to some of these chats here before we kick off Pie Maker. Says first time catching you live in a year. Considering I have yet to see someone making a Nola Gay reference in the prospect of Niji being hailed in the U.S. court, I hereby declare everyone as based as current day 40k custodians. Okay, Pie Baker, are you making this comment because Games Workshop, the people who own Warhammer 40k, just announced that there were always female custodians, right? Uh, this is like a big thing because obviously for Warhammer, the company that owns uh, the IP, um, Games Workshop, they are owned uh, in significant portion by BlackRock and Vanguard, which if you've listened to Kirsha at all ever, uh, they're a lot, they're really big in pushing the DEI stuff and they want to change the uh, change the, the whole message to, oh yeah, there were always female custodians, there were always female space marines, oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, no. That was not a thing. But yeah, but yeah, <laughs> can't spell cock without UK. Oh no, oh no. But anyways, whether or not that was a reference, uh, Senpai noticed here, Senpai noticed. Jitblade says for 20, why is mango the best fruit ever? I love mango. I had a mango shake yesterday while I was waiting for the airplane uh, from Boracay to Manila. Uh, I had a mango shake. I love mango. Mango's great. Mango's delicious. I have mango in Thailand all the time. It's great stuff. Good stuff. Um, the Iron Honda says, would they rather we call them Niji bitches? I'm sure they would not appreciate you calling them Niji bitches. And by the way, we're going to get to this section when the, the cancellation stuff, but obviously I have no idea whether or not what they're even saying is true about, oh, it used to be a slur or whatever like most people when you're using a word you don't think oh was that a slur 200 years ago or 300 years ago or oh let's go into the etymology of the word first of all most people including these people that are out there you know pretending to be offended about this don't even understand how to spell the word etymology more or less where it actually came from they just read something from one of their really crazy professors somewhere and they're parroting it out oh well you know that's a slur well no it's not because the use of words changes and the way a word can be used in modern parlance may not match the way it was used historically or in the past and that's the fluidity of language language has changed over time right so uh, so yeah and, and once again this whole a slur it's a slur because it hurts my feelings is not what a slur is so we're gonna get into that that that, that works me up that works me up 
Uh, Silvery says, I called you late and I was wrong. And I apologize for that. No defamation here. Good. Because otherwise I would sue you like it's Japan. Like it's Japan. Konnichiwa, bitches. We're suing for defamation. All right. Tinkerlin says, hi from work. I just got a job. So sending more soup is awesome. Congrats, Tinkerlin. And shout out to all my based boys and girls uh, and everything in between uh, with uh, jobs. Appreciate those who are employed. Very, very based of you guys. Uh, Gordo says, welcome back. I missed your BFE. You know what? I missed you guys too. You guys are mine. Degenerates. You guys are degenerates. Speaking of degenerates, let's just get into it here. I want to play some clips, and I had a really good one uh, for our best clop girl, Rima. This one, I just, I lost it on this clip. So let's start here with a clip. I got so many clips here. This is so good. If you guys haven't seen this one, uh, this is Vosh finds an anime horse girl. Uh, I know we're out here looking for short stacked goblins, but I just want to show you guys something. Look at that. It's a real anime horse girl. Let's try to get a little bit closer. Why is this shirt off? Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to interrupt your meal. Please, continue. Oh, yeah. I'll eat that grass. Oh. Yeah. I love eating grass, too. <laughs> oh, no. But that's not grass. It's... It's weed. But Vosh, what's your name? It's, um, uh, Rima. That's a cute <laughs> name. Rima. Let me ride you. Um, no! I, no, I, run! That's a good idea. Run, Rima, run! So, oh, oh, God. Run! Hi. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Huh? Look at her. What was she like? 40? I like them young, you idiot. I only ride young ones. Uh, what? <laughs> this was a waste of time. Oh. Let's resume our quest in search of our short stack goblins. The fuck just happened? <laughs> so because that one, that one actually had me pretty much die laughing earlier. Um, just so you know, just so you know. Oh, that's a classic one. Very, very classic. Uh, is the Vosh animation by Meat Cannon or something? No. Uh, let me pull that one up real quick so you guys see who it is. Oh, God. Pull it back up. I actually closed the window. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, here we go. It is by uh von 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 art von art so let me show this to you real quick um da -da -da -da. von art so i will show you real quick von art you see right here so 2k views 10 days right great stuff solid 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 stuff like so yeah go here and like the video Bosch finds an anime horse girl so yeah good one very nice very nice um, all right. What the hell did I just walk into? That's what you should always be asking when you come on stream. Always. Always. What the hell did I walk into? But Flora Nova just walked in with a membership. Appreciate you, Flora Nova, for joining at the RPG level. And also, shout out to Big Bob Gregory with five Legal Mindset memberships. Appreciate you for being so based, Bob. Thank you so much for supporting the BLM. The best damn BLM out there. And I will defend that. I will defend that against all the Niji sisters. Seriously, guys. Uh, Natasha says, I see no tentacles, so I guess that's good. Yes. Yes, yes, indeed. Uh, professional gentleman says, not much to say. Just want to throw a few bucks at you. Like the damn stream, chat. Let's go. 1,300 of you here already. Tinklin says, it's less offensive than hollow fag. Well, I just, I'm sorry. I'm reading the super chat here. Despite being progressive, even though we're probably going to get demonetized because I just read that. Uh, but I've seen stuff around a lot, so I don't know what they're smoking, but it's got to be some pretty strong stuff. Yeah, look, listen, when I heard the term Niji sister, I had no idea whether there's origin or not, whether they made it up or not, whatever. You know, to me, I was using it the way I heard it and exactly what 
I intend to communicate by that, which is the deranged stands of Niji Sanji, right? Uh, and actually, it's not even a, to me, I don't even consider it a, a gender term. I consider it just for all the deranged stands, period. Uh, so nobody, Niji sinners. There we go. Shadow Knight says, on Niji sister, not really. They came up with it originally. They just didn't like it when we started using it as an insult. There you go. There you go. Uh, Vosh would get along great with Vito. Oh, they're BFFs. They're BFFs. Um, Niji is the gift that keeps on giving. They don't stop. Literally, I go on vacation for like a little bit, and I have so much to talk about from these guys. It's nuts. Zypher with five Legal Mindset memberships. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate you supporting the BLM Zypher. Thank you. And Jin says, what I walk into. Ew, there's a lawyer here. Uh, is there an earthquake going on? No, sorry. So the table that I'm using, I wish I could show you guys. Maybe I'll like take a photo and post it, but it's like a child's table. It's like one of these little rickety tables. So every time I touch the table, the table wobbles. So I have to touch the table to use my, to use my um, mouse, but even doing that, even just using my mouse fucking rocks the table like we're in Taiwan. Right. I mean, it's it's, you know, it's pretty crazy. So, yeah, sorry about that. It's a shitty card table. When I get a, a permanent place, permanent apartment, I'll have a real uh, nice one. And back in Bangkok, I've, which I've still got that apartment till May 13th. Uh, that one, I've got a permanent nice table that's solid. Right. This is a dinky table. It's an Airbnb. What can I do? What can I do, guys? Um, or, uh, Adepta Sororitas, the Sisters of Battle to Games Workshop. Are we a fucking joke to you? Uh, okay. Um, let me play one more clip I want to play for you. So this is actually not related to VTubing at all, but it is related to the fact that anime is taking over. And there's a lot of people like in denial about uh, anime taking over and things, you know, going mainstream. And, you know, why one of the reasons why I think VTubing is huge. This is from the official account of El Salvador. The official account of El Salvador has now gone waifu pill. I don't know if you've seen this. Let me play this here for you real quick. Very cute. Very, very cute. I just wanted to give you guys out there, based in El Salvador build, uh, some waifu energy. And, and this is what, look, a lot of people don't realize this, but this is what's getting the clicks. Wholesome, based, like, where, where were, you know, like, where can you go wrong with that? Where can you go wrong with that? Right? There, there, there's nothing to go wrong with that at all. At all. Um, speak. If someone says, where's Parrot? That is so racist. Parrot is not El Salvadorian. He's Colombian. <laughs> Guys, I, I was saying this in reference to Southeast Asia. But, like, be very specific with your country references because there are big differences between countries, especially if you ask people from Central and South America. Very big differences between countries. Okay, guys, very, 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 pay attention. You know, I'm from Miami, so, like, it was always funny to me when people from the Northeast or people from, like, places in the middle of nowhere where they hadn't seen anybody, they, they maybe went to one Mexican restaurant. So they're like, oh, wow, you must love Mexican food. I didn't grow up knowing anybody Mexican. I know Colombians, Brazilians, Cubans, Venezuelans, like, you know, Argentinians, but I, I did not know anybody who was Mexican and, and trying to say it's all the same, you know, it's like saying all of Southeast Asia is the same, despite the fact they speak different languages. It's wildly different people, wildly different perceptions. It's crazy. It's crazy. Um, aren't they all Mexicans? Yes. No. Is it parent from Mexico? See, there you go. There you guys go. Uh, great, great stuff. Sisters of battle for the win and wait, train wreck. Oh yeah. Just strap in guys, strap in guys. Kid Loco said like some girls under the table, legal ones, LMAO. Uh, yeah, not not right now. Not right now, guys. Not right now. 
Um, Alpha said, what program did you use to host PinkTuber? I use reactive, uh, reactive images by Fuji Tech or whatever. You can use it through Discord. So it essentially gives you a talking and non-talking image. So you can do both. Um, uh, vid vidar? 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 Okay. My, my, uh, I guess we're going up there. Uh, you know, is that like Norse? Anyways, binged all the Niji content of yours. It was mad entertaining. Glad I could finally catch stream. Keep being a real motherfucker. I'm not going to stop. And despite the fact that the Niji sisters are trying to cancel me or they tried to cancel me and they, they failed because you cannot, spoiler alert, you cannot actually remove someone from the internet just by being mean to them or trying to shame them. And one good thing, one good lesson for those people out there is do not back down when these people come at you because they won't stop coming. You just got to hold your sack and hold the line, which is what's what's necessary against these people because they're deranged. They're deranged. Uh, Knight says, I finally got a stream on my day off. What's up, Knight? Good to see you, brother. Uh, Hypnotic says, Hina has anatomy questions. Four-minute clip. Okay, if we have time at the end, but we probably won't. Otherwise, Hypnotic, I'll get it on a future stream. This is not a clip uh, clip suggestion stream. So if you're sending a clip suggestion, it probably is going to be for another one because it's already going to be a very long stream. Cordo says, since I'm a Kapipi and I do her chat, Latinos become anime fans is not much of a surprise. No, and I love it. Look. Listen, I love, I want to see like the waifus in all languages. I want to see it in Brazilian Portuguese. I want to see it in Spanish. I want to see it in uh, Tagalog. I want to see it in fucking Japanese, Korean, Thai, Indonesian, Indian, whatever. All the waifus. Like, go ahead, spread it to everywhere. I think that's fantastic. What I think is really impressive are these uh, bilingual and trilingual waifus that are speaking English, Japanese, and another language, like Indonesian or French or you know, one of Korean, you know, it's very impressive. Like these girls are often very, very, very impressive. Uh, Capcom leveling up their greed to dot tier. That is a whole other episode. I'm not touching the gaming stuff and all that Gamergate wokeness stuff. That's another stream. That's a whole separate stream on Capcom. That, that's not today. Not today. Uh, we're going to need to, I'm probably going to need Kirsha for that one. Uh, Steve C, new member. Welcome to the BLM, Steve C. Uh, Dave Lobman said, Cuban sandwich and a cafecito. I am going back to the U.S. sometime in late May uh, or June, and I am so excited to get a pastelito, guava, guava y queso, and a cafecito for my favorite place to go, Gilbert's, uh, in the U.S. Also, I like Sergio's as well, if you're in, in Miami. Um, but I am so excited for that. It is, it is, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. The Talented X says, hey, brother, got it. Glad to be supporting. So thank you so much. Thank you for all the members that are still there. Uh, Willary said, interesting that Niji had no screenshots of uh, AR Live, but we do. But we do. But their previous uh, Niji fees, Niji Fest, allowed people to share it. Japanese loves using live as concert. There you go. Sona says, I had a thought. Cover has stoke trade at the end of 2023. Does Japanese company opening a branch keep it private or will they need DE law? DI law. Um, no. So like cover corporation is not going to need to, it doesn't like require them to use DEI. DEI, the way DEI came in is because of funding, right? It's because of funding from certain entities. But I have some information from people very high up in the traditional finance world that I've spoken to, and they have told me and this is off the off the books, but they've told me that a lot of that funding, the funding that was going to companies to incentivize them to do DEI, that that is going away. That a lot of, especially the saner companies, they are removing the funding and incentives for that because they saw it didn't work and they saw the backlash against it. So they may do window dressing. Like for example, they'll always, corporals, corporals are always going to change their flags. They're going to, you know, for whatever month it is, they're all going to, they're still going to do that window dressing stuff. But in terms of being incentivized to push certain things, that is going to dry up from what I've heard. Might be wrong. My source could be incorrect. That is rumor, speculation, take it with a grain of salt, but that's just what I heard. Um, all right, Kid Locus is Ecuador too, but we need to assault an embassy. Wait, what? Um, Etheria for Canadian Five, stop in Vancouver, Canada before you go back to Asia. I'll buy you a coffee meal. I have been to Vancouver many times. I have good friends in Vancouver. Um, uh, was it Gastown? Uh, the, I had great sushi there. 
some of the best sushi I've had in the North American uh, continent, right? Uh, and last year, before I can, can we continue here, Nazar says slightly off topic, but how do you choose from your topics? Do you just find subjects you are in, find interesting, or take suggested topics? Both. I only do suggested topics that are people are highly interested in that I want to do. That keeps me sane, and that is my advice to live streamers. Do not do something you do not want to do, because if you do that, you will end up going crazy and you will burn out. Many people burn out because they do topics they don't want to do because they see everybody else do them, but your heart isn't in it. And the, the audience sees that. You guys see that. You guys see it when I'm gassed up. You see that versus when I'm acting no better than a fucking monkey. You guys see that. You guys see it. If I'm just acting like the monkey, you guys are going to feel it. Um, all right. Uh, I see there's other super chats, but we're going to wait on that for a little bit later. But first, I want to get one more clip. This one was sent to me actually by my mod, Danielle. But this is from Lord Mollington. Shout out to Lord Mollington. I actually really liked his video. It helped me when I was covering the Yabbit, when I was covering um, Pippa. So shout out to Lord Mollington. I, I do appreciate that. Uh, drop a like on this one. Now, this is a uh, a very one he put a very special thing he put out here for a YouTube reaching 5K subscribers. So this is very interesting. Let's pay attention to this one. Viewer discretion is advised. You guys suck so fucking bad. <laughs> I don't want a boyfriend, I want an older brother, okay? Yeah, fascism. Love it. Bad boys, bad boys. Watch it. I forgive, but never forget. Cops is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All men are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Oh. You were just. Okay, yeah, that one had me. That one. The dog bowl. The dog bowl! Oh, man. Oh, no. We'll never escape the guys. The dog bowl, guys. Like, literally, when I saw the dog bowl, I was like, no. What the fuck? <laughs> Not the bowl. Uh, the dog to X says, yes, we much prefer the gasolina. Then the monkey, yes. No one wants to actually Fucking be... monkey. No one wants to be a monkey. Uh, Tinkerlin says, then you have Disney's Ray of the Last Dragon, where all Southeast Asia is one place. Yeah, that was horribly offensive. And it was merging of like a bunch of different cultures, which are really different. What they should have done is just done a movie about one specific culture. So do it about Vietnamese culture, or Thai culture, or Indonesian culture, or Malaysian culture, or whatever. Just pick a random island, Maldives, whatever the hell you want to do. Brunei, whatever you're going to do, just Cambodia, Laos, whatever. In, in fact, you can even do it in one region, like in Thailand. You could do it about Isan, right? And something specific to Isan, right? Or here in the Philippines, each island has, you know, different culture and there's different uh, language, right? You could do it about one specific thing. But by trying to please everybody, it, it was actually more, to me, and, and looking at it, more offensive and because it, it short-sold the culture. It made it cultures that are multiple cultures that are very complex and have a lot of really deep history and lore and, you know, uh, folklore that they could go into. Just going and putting them all together as if there's some melting pot was actually to me a little bit offensive. Like that seemed more offensive to me uh, doing it that way. But that's my personal opinion. Uh, of course, I'm American. Um, and from what I saw online, it seems like most people from SEA agree with me on that one. Um, you know, that, you know, it's all the same as is bullshit, right? Um, but yeah, of course, I'm in the Philippines right now. I spent a lot of time also in Thailand, right? Um, you know, I've traveled, I've been to Cambodia. I, I need to go to Vietnam, it's on my list. I've been to Malaysia, I've been to Singapore. Um, need to get to Indonesia. I have not been to Indonesia. That's on the list. Um, and also need to get over to Taiwan 
on the list uh, in the future as well. Uh, Mario says, just got my passport. We'll go on a cruise first. I got Blitz for five days. We'll contact you for information on planning trip to Japan or Thailand. Yes, I'll, I'm happy to help you out planning a trip. If you're going to Japan or Thailand, I know, uh, you know my expertise, my consultations, which I have one later today, on people coming over here, whether for travel, fun, work, going to Korea, Japan, Thailand, Philippines. Those are my uh, specialties. So with that said, let's get into this. All right, the AR Live event. Um, let's do this. This is what I saw from the event. So here we go. We've got these screenshots. Someone paid 6,000 yen for this. And, and here's your images here. Uh, and, and we've got more. This is There's so many. This is so bad, right? And, and yes, we're going to focus here. Of course, you see the thumbnail here. Dear sweet Jesus. <laughs> And then we're going to get the long, long neck. Don't worry. But this is like PlayStation 1 graphics. This is so bad. Um, and here's a, a, a point I want to focus in on. Uh, and this is a legal point here. They were not able to obtain the copyright for a song. So people that purchased it and were trying to legally view it via Billy Billy, they purchased the event. They could not listen to a song. If it was U.S. law, this should entitle them to a refund. Okay? So the at least a partial refund. If you, if they knowingly, especially like they should know better. Right, even if it's not knowing, it's negligent to make them pay for silence on Billy Billy, a Chinese site. They should issue a refund to anybody, or at least a partial refund for this. So, yeah, yeah, that's that's bullshit it's a it's essentially a fraud or a scam it can be viewed in different ways different jurisdictions but yeah that is something they should not be paying for fully they should get some compensation for that this is why look remember remember niji sanji guys remember doki bird you guys remember doki do we, do we all forget about doki what was the reason that they held up doki and said, oh no, last cup of coffee can't go. Because they were spending so much time doing copyright review. And they had to check, oh, we've got to verify, right? They were getting perms, oh, my perms, my perms. But yet they didn't do this for a major event. So what does this mean? Are they actually looking for perms or is that just bullshit? And is the perms just an excuse to fuck with people? I don't know. I'm just asking questions here. I'm just a lawyer in Manila asking questions. But this to me seems like my perms is a bullshit argument. Last cup of bullshit. I like it. I like it. It seems like it's rules for thee, but not for me. Yes, indeed. Indeed. Very suspicious. And of course, here you've got the post. What happened? It's so weird. I think anyone who streams events has never, have never encountered anything like this before. Did you receive a confirmation? Okay, sign the Billy Billy before uploading this to AR Live. They literally could have just checked with the platform. They act like it's their first time streaming on Billy Billy, which we all know is bullshit. Now, let's get into this like details, right? So here's where this starts to get fucking bad. So this was posted by our favorite horse girl, um, Rima, right? This is 4K uh, Mirai over here on the left. And this is long, long neck, right? This long, long neck is going to haunt my fucking dreams, okay? This long, long neck is going to haunt my fucking dreams. Like, and, and look at this quality difference here. It's just so, it's so massive. 
I mean, but this is ridiculous. This is not acceptable. It's 2024. This is not like 1992. What type of graphics are we pushing here? Seriously, it's, it's real, real bad. That is embarrassing. That's embarrassing as hell. So, yeah. And, but, but speaking of which, even more embarrassing, and this to me was nuts. So we have our girl, our girl, Gura, streaming here at the same time, over streaming them and getting 26K watching her as Niji's entirety of the AR, Niji's, Niji's 100 EN AR Live Colors uh, Pastel Stage. They only got 23. So clapping that, the, literally, the shark was clapping the Niji Sanji cheeks getting absolutely mobbed. And by the way, people are saying she had 30K plus views. So really dominating them. Long, long man cannot compete with that, my friends. Long, long man cannot compete with that. This is embarrassing. This is where this is where your company starts to look like a fool, right? This is how your stock keeps tanking. When you're seeing random other streams, and look, yes, Gura is huge, right? We get it. Gura is huge. But like, still, one liver, one VTuber should not beat your entire fucking team. Crazy, right? Crazy. Absolutely nuts. Uh, let me get some of these. Shout out to Lumi Mollington's Oshi for episode being a banger. Awesome. Yeah, there you go. Nice. Shout out to Lumi. Appreciate it. Shane says, it's much worse. They actually had a year to clear perms for this. This was a year? This was a year? Guys, come on. They graduated. Mem they had graduated members' vocals involved. We don't know if they had the perms for that. I what pieces of shit? I'm sorry. Abdel says, damn, they replaced someone long neck. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's disgusting. A uh, super says, real Niji Sanji interview question. How can you compete with Gargara? <laughs> Remember, that was like what they were asked during the last financials. Um, you know, they were asked, how are you going to compete with cover? How are you going to keep up with cover? They should just ask, how are you going to compete with Gura? What, how do you feel about your whole fucking team losing to one shark girl? I like, like animate that. Like one shark girl taking on all. I just want to see like the chibi version, like Gura alone, just like Dragon Ball Z power battling all of Niji Sanji live and just defeating them. Like it's, like it's the fucking, you know, Ginyu force just getting, you know, slapped out of there. Or the Earth Squad when Vegeta first shows up, you know, just getting getting swatted. One shark. Uh, Toen, welcome as a new member of the BLM. Appreciate you coming here as a member. Get Zerb says, what's more fun is the free portion on YouTube got privated. Not sure if it's still private. What's even more fun is they tried to threaten people who were posting uh, screenshots. So come at me, bro, Niji. Please, Niji Sanji. Niji Sanji. You want to do me a favor? Please, please come at me. Please, Niji Sanji. I would, mwah, I would love that. That would be the gift that keeps on giving if you were to come at us for showing screenshots of your long, long neck, right? That's why they threatened, by the way, because they knew the quality was trash. They knew the quality was trash. That's why they threatened people, because they knew it was garbage. Anybody who was doing anything good wouldn't threaten. By the way, Let's let's prove that theory here, guys. Let's prove that theory because um, I was watching uh, a certain a certain girl who may have beaten the uh, horse allegations, uh, Maureen Calpe. I was watching for reference her um, 3D birthday live from like 11 days ago, and and, and I'm not going to play it. I don't want to like um, play too much of the music, but look at the quality on this. I'm going to play like five seconds, right? Let's just play five seconds. So much 
better quality, so much better quality uh, from Hollow Live there. Um, and once again, that's just a little fucking one event, right? One event, right? And Ollie, shout out to Ollie, right? Get some Ollie love in there, right? That's just a little bit. That's just like one little clip, right? It's just it, the quality is not comparable. It's like one is made in the garbage can and one is made in the fucking 1990s. And you can tell where the money is going. The money is not going to paying good staff. How do we know that? Well, before I go any further, th I want to give a, a, another shout out to, uh, to our horse, horse girly because she brought this to my attention as well. Um, Niji Sanji is still posting job ads, ladies and gentlemen. They're still posting job ads. And those job ads, and I, I've translated this from Japanese, so understand this is the like Google. Google built-in Chrome translation, but mind you, this is a VTuber supervision part-time job for fucking quality control. They're paying quality control, once again, $7 an hour, 1,113 yen. Mind you, the yen is absolutely dropping here. Sorry, let me make this bigger for you guys so you can see it real quick. Um, this is the, the translated job posting. 1,113 yen, okay, to work in Rapungi, you know, at least three days or more a week on quality control. This is why Niji Sanji's work sucks. And by the way, in case you were wondering, this is only applicable to students, to college students. It's not applicable to adults and those under high school age. So high schoolers, high schoolers and university kids can apply for this. So once again, extorting the barely not children, the just above children level. This is Niji Sanji's top. This is the quality you're paying for. Even people, look at this. Even made cafe maids make more. When, when Niji Sanji staff are being clapped by maids, there's a problem. I'm just putting that, I'm just pointing out here the problems here. Just throwing that out there. When when the when, when the when the maids are getting paid more. Although I will say some of those maids, very, very good, or some of those cafes are very good. The legend, my legend is is spread far and wide of the uh of the uh the cat girl the cat girl girls bar <laughs> highly recommend if you're in osaka the video isn't shaky the table is the table is a really small cheap table there's a dining room table over here i may move the dining room table over it's bigger um that may just happen we'll see but i gotta get all the plates off them and stuff so we'll, we'll see if i want to do that or not uh, but appreciate all those that are joining us today. NTW, welcome as a new member. The BLM appreciates you joining, coming through. Cannon Hotep, thank you for coming through. Thank you for rating, coming through to show some love. Appreciate you for staying so absolutely ridiculously based, which we're going to talk about in a second. We're going to talk about staying based even when people want to cancel you. And I don't mean, by the way, right or left even. I mean holding your guns. In fact, I don't give a shit if you're – I really don't, and I'm going to say this out here. I don't care why you're watching my channel, what your political beliefs are, whatever it is. I don't care. When people come at you, hold your ground, whatever that is. Stand your ground. If you have principles that are well-founded, they're founded in facts, they're founded in evidence, they're founded in strong beliefs, hold your ground. Hold your ground. Do not buckle when people come for you. Period. Period. Uh, Etheria said, Gura black screen Jack Niji like they did Doki. Oof! Uh, long, long neck loses to short, short shark. Gura. Gura trumping the entire Niji and not surprising. She is queen of the A. Indeed. Indeed. She is not A. Fighting monkey. Not at all. Not at all. Um, let's see what else we got here. All right, Doki's intro animation is with her neck growing. Yes, I've seen that one. Uh, Doki neck growing. Yes. Uh, let's see. Oh, so Doki bird. Let's see if I can get that Doki bird. Uh, yeah, this one, right? 
Yeah, I think I've seen this one. So like to me, I was like, were you trying to pull that? Well, this is a, this might be like fan art, guys, but whatever. I, I've seen one of Selen too, like Selen Tatsky uh, with the long, long neck. I mean, it's, it's funny. I don't get the origin of the meme, but it's still funny regardless. Niji said post images of AR would be copyright. Well, they can go fuck themselves. Um, Night Slash says Guri was running on low energy and still winning. Shane says their whole alleged reason for pulling Selen's video was no perms for previous members. If they included previous members without perms, unconfirmed, that's peak hypocrisy. Well, we'll see, because obviously people are going to go back and, and, and pick up that apart, I'm, I'm sure, um, and look for that. So, yeah, that would be. But would you be surprised, Shane? I wouldn't. Zypher said Nietzsche isn't even at 2% of that volume. Not even close. Not even semi-close. Whalery said the AR live footage was over one year old makes it worse. It, the technology looks like it's five years old. That's the problem. Desregard says, cool, caught the stream. Oh, no, it looks like there's an earthquake happening. Take cover, LM. No, no, no. It's just my shitty table. Um, Archie says, was paid 16 for my first job. And my 16 Australian dollars for my first job. Niji is 11 Australian dollars. My first job was paid $7 an hour as well, U.S., but that was in the 1990s. So when I was illegally working as a child, the statute of limitations has passed, right? Doing construction work, doing, I did like a lot of pressure washing, painting, scraping fences. I did that when I was 14 years old. I was paid $7.50, $7, $7.50, sometimes eight an hour, depending on how hard the work was. Um, and that was in the 90s. There's something called inflation that's happened since then. Costs have kind of gone up. So you've got to pay more than like a child was making in the 90s. I think that's like a reasonable standard to have. <laughs> and then last, Yanka, welcome as a member of the RPG. All right. So one last thing I want to bring up was this guy, Ducky. So this guy, Ducky, was a bit of a cucky for Niji Sanji. Right. And I think this is why everybody busted this guy up. I don't know if you guys saw this, but this is exactly what I think everyone is talking about when it comes to Niji Sanji stands being deranged. Um, this guy, Ducky, posted on Twitter that this was literally the best thing ever. That this was the best thing ever. Now, look, and this is a serious moment. If you guys enjoy Niji Sanji Ian people, by all means, go enjoy them. But don't lie and try to say it's the best thing ever. You could still enjoy it, even though it's shitty quality. Maybe you really like the music and you just really like the songs, right? Like, and, and you don't care. Right, you don't care it's back quality, but don't try to say it's the best ever. Where you fucked up was saying it's the best ever. Just saying I enjoyed it is fine. That's your opinion. You can say I enjoyed it. You're entitled to that opinion. That's an opinion, and that's fine. You enjoyed it. You're allowed to enjoy it. That's fine. But saying it's the best thing ever, uh, this article. What? Look at this. Niji Sanji Ian's AR Live colors might just be a turning point for any color as the branch's first five groups put on a performance for the ages. What performance were you looking at? Now, there's the promo stuff, but look at this. He really doesn't show that this is from the Niji Sanji version, but this is not on scale with the long, long neck we saw. Right, and the quality that we saw. You're just posting the Niji Sanji official stuff, right? You're once again the official brand. And, and look at this. So do yourself a favor, buy a ticket, watch the VOD. My words cannot do colors justice. And the Niji Niji Sanji and Live reserve the support for an all-time performance. I mean Look at this. Look at this. Here's here's the here's here's one of the quotes here. Here's the quote here. I've seen a number of VTuber concerts. Birthday lives, full-on stadium performances. None come 
Close. Okay. Use your words carefully. None come close. When you say none come close, that means zero, right? To the show Niji Sanji Ian put on. It's hard to explain why. Maybe it was the length. Maybe it was the raw quality. Somebody please make the meme. Can someone make the meme and send it to me, please? Okay. Uh, internet, make the meme of long, long neck. Long, long neck with the caption raw quality. Can someone do that for me? Could someone send me that real quick? You can do it on a Canva, edit it real quick. Just, just, just long, long neck plus raw quality. I just want to, I want to get that in there. Yes, it's raw, raw quality. Raw as in they put no editing into it. Or maybe it was the fact that the livers fought so hard for this moment. After years of highs and lows, this was their peak. Well, what, what, regardless of the livers' efforts, we're talking about Niji Sanji here. In fact, the livers, like, don't bring them into it. See, what the fucked up thing they're trying to do here and people like Ducky the Cucky here do is they try to bring in your love for the talent to defend Niji Sanji. The point is Niji Sanji is shortchanging, right? Niji Sanji is the one that is shortchanging. Sorry, I think I don't know if that's like housekeeping or something. I have no clue. But whatever. Whatever. In fact, hold on. I'm gonna check the door while I uh, I'm gonna leave you on a leave you on a thing while I check the door. Someone ring my doorbell. Hold on. Thank you very much for all of your lovely art as well. Some of it some of it a little lewd. Uh to to those to those of you to those of you drawing me with horses. Um Y'all are into some fucked up shit, and I hope you get- <laughs> I hope you get the help you need. I re- I really truly- I hope- I hope you get the help you need. Okay. Well, we're back here. Definitely do not need the towels fluffed, uh, today. Nietzsche Assassin's coming for me, guys. I was like, who's here already? <laughs> it's- it's- it's DN. DN's found me. <laughs> DN found me. <laughs> that, that's a someone clip that. Like when Niji Sanji comes for legal mindset. <laughs> FBI, open up. <laughs> the Niji sisters are like searching Airbnbs. They're like, find the photo in the background. People are deranged. They do that shit. But no, that's just uh, people wanting to want to clean the units. Um, all right. <clears throat> Nazar says, sort of related to my earlier soup, have you ever covered the legal process that would be involved for Japanese VTubers to get perms to do covers of Western songs and vice versa for doing stream? Well, it's just like getting a perm in the West is, is pretty simple. You just pay the people that own the rights. It's, it's well known who the people are. Just do it. Now, the problem is the cost. The cost is going to be huge. The cost of the rights for Western songs is, is nuts. It's usually cheaper just to go make a song than to pay for the Western rights because they are ridiculous. Millie Manili gave a performance for the ages. No one has forgotten it. No? Indeed. Indeed. The last Hollow Fest was epic. I watched it in days. I should, you know, I want to do a walk, a watch through now of the Hollow events because, like, honestly, like, after seeing Long Long Neck, I mean, it's only up, right? I'm actually sad I can't go to Ofkai. Um, I, I am going to go to the U.S., but I, I wouldn't have time. But in the future, I, I will try to make some events. Perhaps I, I think Gator may go. I may try to see if he can like, if he can like uh, carry me on an iPad, like Iron Mouse or something like that. Like just have me going around, uh, going around off Kai. That'd be kind of funny. That'd be interesting. Um, Let's see here. Have you seen Selen's 3D Birthday? Better and more memes. No, I'll, I'll check that out. I will check that out. I mean, Lumi's EP, her small album. Oh, okay. I didn't know. Sorry, guys. You guys are teaching me. Uh, we're talking ARs or am I missing something? No, no. Different different uh, ARs and augmented reality. Augmented reality can. Uh, BG Corporation says, I just want to say thank you for all your hard work. You taught me so much. Thanks to you for... Uh, I have an understanding of why characters act certain ways in manga and manhwa. Yes, because Eastern culture is different and, you know, Japanese, Korean culture, they have different 
uh, societal norms. They have different aspects, which are the way a lot of characters are. It's more explained, um, you know, when you understand that, you understand the culture, you understand that background. That's why whenever I go to a country, whether I'm in the Philippines or Thailand or Korea or Japan, I do do a genuine thought to learn about that culture, at least generally, some of the way they think, their cultural background, religious background, uh, local customs. I mean, these are important to understand things. And once you understand that, you can appreciate stuff coming out of those places much more. Junie says, looks like we got steel chair mindset. You know it, Junie. I'm coming for the heads, and I am not. Apologize, because we just got to. Yeah, uh, you know, I'm, I'm in favor of uh, execution. Maybe, maybe our entire team needs to be executed after tonight. Indeed. And Brian says, whoa, late. No, no, no. You're always exactly on time. Uh, Rolando says, Ducky is the Alyssa Mercante of consumer journalism. Oof. Alyssa standing for um, all of the uh, Sweet Baby Ink stuff. So, yes, I can see that for sure. Hibachi Chief uh, Chef gives a better performance than EG True. Any color should consider investing into 3D mocap studio like Cover did. It will greatly help them in the future. Invest in your future or stymie. Yes, and Cover is investing in America, too. They're opening up an American branch. They're investing in their talent. They're investing in making their corporation better to deliver better product, deliver better services. Yago is doing way better than Riku, right? Just saying. Shane says the best he's ever seen. I mean, if you've never watched anything else, but is that supposed to be a reporter? It, he's very much following down the mainstream media. Out, and, and that's a little bit of my bias on most mainstream media. But it, it's that, you know, a lot of reporters and journalists nowadays, they're actually paid. You do need to be very careful whenever you're reading an article. And by the way, this applies of supposedly um, liberal and supposedly conservative articles as well. It doesn't matter. Read if it's sponsored by or provided by read at the bottom someone's disclosures at the bottom or the top many times what looks like a news article is actually sponsored by a corporation and the fucked up thing is a lot of people on the internet feel like they're immune to those sort of regulations now journalists in mainstream media because they're kind of located in a country they have to disclose that that's a material non-disclosure if they don't put that somewhere they can put it in the fine print at the bottom or whatever but they have to disclose it online there's a lot of people online that are not being honest about what they're doing and i think that's completely unethical like, for example, the second that I was paid money by Idol Corporation, the second they sent me money, I fully disclosed that. I said, yep, they paid me money, right? So if anybody wants to discredit me and say, oh, they sent me money, well, that's fine. I'm honest about it, right? Because that is important. Because if your audience finds out you're a liar and you you lose all your credibility, right? You lose 100% of your credibility and credibility is everything in the long run. I, I think that's my personal opinion. Don says, let's go one month for the part of being in the base group. Hold on. Hello, special department. Welcome to the members of the BLM. Uh, Juni says, nah, because Hatsune Miku walked so VTubers could run. Thank you, Juni. Appreciate you, girl. We got to collab again soon. A Niji Max QA session sounds like uh, it's going to be, <laughs> it's going to blow out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, Mark says, dang it, I'm late. We'll have to catch up with the video there. You'll get to it. We're 2x speed, baby. Underscore Noel says, have you seen the U.S. Hatsume Miku tour thing? LED screen versus glass AR. 95 glow sticks for Portland. OR sold out concert more. I'm going to have to watch this. Hatsune Miku. Okay, I've got, I've got it pulled up. So this is the, uh, oh, yes, I have seen this, actually. I have seen this, um, indeed, indeed. So from what I've heard, it was a fantastic experience by comparison, especially. Um, all right. So, uh, oh, yeah, Shane says, but we're really pretending that Riku would pay for some Western journalists for positive PR. He doesn't even pay his own PR staff. This is a fair point, Shane. Next, Nick Murillo became a member. Welcome as a member. All right. So now we've got the next segment, which is Niji Sanji trying to cancel me. Um, so I wanted to do this while I was gone 
but I'm going to just play a rev video because everybody was, uh, I think a couple people did videos on this. I think Kyo did a video. I know rev did a video and a couple other people. I wasn't going to bring this up until other people brought it up that were kind of big. So I feel the need just because they brought it up, not because the smaller piddly ass people were going to dunk on them hard. Right. But I want to I want to put people to bed. Yeah, there, there was some weird Twitter freaks that tried to cancel me somehow, but not really. But it was ineffective. So we're going to we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about that right now. I'm going to play the rev video. Uh, this is a video from like, I don't know, last week, six days ago. Um, and this is uh, Niji Defenders launch a desperate smear campaign. So here we go. Uh, this is uh, people trying to apparently cancel me, right? Which uh, I'm going to tell you guys some interesting facts along the way because this is actually really interesting news to me. So let's let's uh, let's play this one. So moving forward, there's been a lot of backlash with Niji Sanji Ian. I think we're all aware of that, and it's been showing in a lot of the recent events on their official YouTube account. You can see their recent Mario Kart special battle getting a very heavy amount of dislikes, over 50% dislikes on this event. The event itself getting attacked by people, but also this promotional post. Now you look at this, it seems pretty innocuous, right? Like what is the issue with this post that has so many people making fun of it? Well, if you check out the graph. And this is and this is what got people so mad. Let me move it here. The congratulations. They got freaking so mad that people were making fun of this misspelling. They were so salty, right, that they just had an absolute meltdown, right? And they were just lashing out like children trying to go for anybody. And uh, apparently, false ID and I got caught in this block. Now, how I got pulled into this is very funny. Um, hold on one second. Um, I, yeah, okay. I have a meeting later after we schedule. Um, so, uh, yeah, this congratulations really got them salty. So what, what happened here was they end up lashing out somehow at me and false. So uh, watch that. Epic here. It is of course captioned with congratulations, a misspelling of congratulations. Now, yes, of all the things being mad about, uh, towards Niji Sanji Ian about, this is one of the more lighter things, but it just goes to show they're not really checking anything they're posting. No, it was like and funny. also they pay people to make these posts. And the fact and, and by the way, this is the type of post that they are paying seven dollars an hour for. This is exactly the type of post we just showed the job posting. This is what they're paying people to check. You're hiring children. This is what you get when you hire fucking children. Stop hiring children. Hire a goddamn adult, pay them a real wage, right? Pay them a, a honest wage, you know, make their make them a professional, and you're gonna get better than congratulations. Trying to get quadlingual children to check your stuff is not the way to go. Right? But obviously, some Niji sisters were mad about that. Here if this slipped through for a big event for Niji Sanji Ian is pretty embarrassing. And people like False ID would point this out False saying color. congratulations. Reminder, any color hires Japanese high school students at minimum wage for their translations, which is true, by the way. So yes. why would Niji Sanji do that? Well, of course, they're trying to save money. They're, they're paying these high school students Correct. less to do these translations than someone who is more qualified. And that's how you end up with mistakes like this. It's because Correct. Niji Sanji and any color are cutting corners to save money. And you would see some replies. People were angry about what False was saying. This person said in a now deleted tweet, yes. dumbass, high schoolers can take commissions. Have you never seen people sell their art for less than what they're worth, especially design commissions? This person doesn't know what the fuck they're talking about. <laughs> see, they're, they're, once again, they're just an idiot. The implication here is not that they're doing anything illegal clearly it's not illegal to employ a high schooler the problem is that high schooler quality is going to be shit quality this is why this person who posted this pickled pain or whatever who deleted the tweet by the way and you're going to find by the way all these people all of these people all these v tweeters 
are fucking cowards. First of all, you don't know who they are, right? They're obviously uh, anonymous accounts, anon accounts. It could be Vox Akuma t- tweeting on his side account, right? Nobody knows that. It could be anybody. Um, literally anybody, you know, it could be Alira getting catty. Who knows, right? So that's one thing. Number two, they're they're low IQ. They don't get the argument. They're not actually like defeating the, the argument. The argument is the quality is bad. That's not debunked at all by the fact that high schoolers can sell art commissions. What point do you think you proved there? What point do you think you 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 explained? You didn't actually convince anybody of anything. It's a 39 IQ. 39 IQ in the chat, guys. It's no better than a legal assessment from Hunting monkey. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Um, yeah, today I woke up and she's about well, especially when people come for me. So let's continue. Let's continue. They're not done, they're not done coming for Papa Mindset here. Where false would originally say it's fine for a multi-billion dollar company to pay less than people are worth is quite an argument. Do tell us more, which is very fair. That's a very weird way to defend Niji Sanji. Basically, yeah, they can uh they can definitely uh pay people less than they deserve weird hill to die on but this reply would lead down a very big rabbit hole so this is would say okay. getting into arguments with 40 follower <laughs> accounts and quote tweeting to get your followers to dogpile them truly you're a big man speaking truth to justice here now so so this this v tweeter who changed their name specifically to get clout so this person who changed their name this this Proud V tweeters. They literally blocked me before they ever started talking shit. So I could not see any of this or respond to any of this. The strong, proud Niji NDF blocked me preemptively before they did this, which is nuts which is crazy, right? And we're going to we're going to get into the substance of the argument because I want to I want to I want to dunk on them. So I want to I want to dunk on them solidly here, right? Because this is crazy. And and I want to dunk on we're going to get to the dunking on all of those that that accuse oh, he bringing in political opinion. I'm bringing in facts and the law. If you don't like facts and the law, I'm sorry I hurt your fifis. The door is over there. The door is over there. <laughs> no, oh. I sin. I cannot absolve you. Mega based. Okay, let's continue with this. Now, of course, false would quote this saying in quotes, roll over and let us directly harass you, which I agree with this sentiment. <laughs> I've never understood why people feel like because you have a small account on social media that people with larger accounts can't reply to you. It's very weird. If you're going to literally poke the bear with a stick here, don't be surprised when they reply back. And, and, the, and the other thing is too, like you're literally slandering somebody, right? I mean, they're slandering fault, they're slandering me, right? So you're you're attacking both of us and you you expect people not to ever respond to you. Now I choose not to because that's my general strategy. Once again, the only reason I'm responding is because Rev did a video on this and Kyo did a video on it, right? So I felt the need to do a video on it. But like because of those guys. Because I and I, I like Rev and I like Kyo. Both of them are fine. Uh, but I wouldn't respond to these people because they're crazy, they're deranged, they're not worth my time, right? They're not worth my time. So uh, I would not directly respond to them. But that said, false is entitled to respond if he wants to respond. And this principle that you can just start a small account and slander somebody is insane. So imagine this. You just you're a big person. Maybe you're you're, um, you know, a huge champion. But you don't want to catch flack. So you just start a new Twitter and it's just to shit talk people a new ex just to shit talk people that somehow makes you immune from scrutiny. No, that's ridiculous. That's crap. I don't believe that there's no, like to try to get out of accountability because you're a small channel. Sorry. No, no, don't win that argument. Let's continue. You're allowed to have a discussion with someone if they have less followers than you, you're allowed to 
respond to their criticism, in this case, that you directly put under one of his tweets. But you might be looking at this individual's name. False is friends with anti-vax lawyers. And you're thinking, what the hell is going on? Well, they did this intentionally saying, yeah. change my name temporarily in case false decides to put me in his video. Of course. And, 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 and at the same time, block me so I can't respond to that. Right. That's the that's the crazy part. Of course, I don't, I don't think that's going to work. He's probably going to still put you in the video. Yeah. But who are they referring to with this name? Well, they're referring to legal mindset. There we go. Someone that. Uh, there we go. Yes, they're trying to refer to me. There we go. There's the call out, right? A lot of Niji songs. By the way, by the way, have the balls to just say my name. Like, I'm going to Heisenberg this. Say my name. Say my fucking name. Okay? If you're going to, if you're going to, if you're going to be like, hey, man, 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 don't do this catty shit. Just say my name. Say my name. Say my name. Say Papa Mindset. Come on. Come on, do it. If you're so strong and so great, just say it. Just say it. You know, you're goddamn right. The defenders really dislike because he has been very critical of their organization and some of their libers as well. And that is something that they don't like. They don't like legal mindset for that reason. They don't like false ID for being critical of Niji Sanji. It's pretty expected at this point. Now, of course, what's the proof of? Yeah. And, and by the way, they, so so that's the main thing that they got me is. The main thing they have a problem with, if they're just honest about it, is that I'm mean to Niji Sanji. They're like, stop picking on Niji Sanji. That's literally their main argument. By the way, Mario Brandon, LTL, coming in big with the 500 ARS says, uh, hello, Niji can't compete with Hollow anymore, but they have the chance to compete with Idol on ES, but, uh, but hope Niji improves their contracts first. Other option can be the launch of mom VTubers way before any others. Mom VTubers would kill it. Hollow Moms, are you kidding me? Uh, Pakora's mom has got it going on. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Pay peanuts, get monkeys. For sure. And Black Sheep Boy says these are the same people that announce mental health breaks for stressing out over stuff they got themselves into. Indeed. Indeed. Mitchell Elias says attempted to send you a raw quality meme via email. I'll check it out in a second. Thank you. Thank you. And then M. Bented is just some hate following clout chaser, literally starts brain dead arguments just to get famous, noted in response videos, which is why I don't normally do this, but I feel the need to do it once, especially because I want to just debunk this specific argument they're throwing at me. They're throwing a very specific allegation at me, which is really, honestly, it's, it's first of all, it's untrue. And second of all, it's crazy that they think it's an own. They think it's a they think it's a win, a W over me somehow. And they also think I'm going to back down off of my legal position, which I am definitely not going to do. I'm about to double down on it, right? So hold on. Hold on, guys, here. Uh, Black Shio Pal says, I heard Peko Mom. Who summoned me? <laughs> Welcome. Welcome. Um, okay. Uh, let's continue with the rev video so you guys can get this argument legal mindset being anti-vax well they said this he's got videos <laughs> ranting about vaccine mandates among other videos ranting about critical race theory paranoia about social justice people censoring anime boobs etc like whoa buddy i'm already subscribed you don't have to sell me twice on this guy but in all <laughs> Let's just play it. Not a sin. I cannot absolve you. Mega based. Okay, so let's go. We're gonna go. Okay, I want to touch the mandates up. So we're gonna touch the vaccine mandate separately. But let's talk about what are the other ones they say here. They say I rant about critical race theory. Yeah, I've talked about that a lot. I've talked about that with Kirsha. I've talked about that with other folks. I've talked about it in the past. Once again, I don't want any stuff brought into. I don't want any political stuff brought into any sort of realm because that's how the law requires it to work in America. America is about the depolitization, not the repolitization, particularly of our public spaces. It's about it being apolitical, right? Of not being indoctrination for either side, by the way. I don't endorse a I don't endorse schools becoming training grounds for the left or the right. I would have just as much of a problem if schools were becoming, for example, Pentecostal, you know, a baptismal fonts, 
you know, where there's baptizing kids left and right. I have just as much of a problem with that as them becoming some sort of weird neo-Stalinist training ground. Like they're both a problem, and I take umbrage with that because it's against the Constitution, and that's the law of the United States. That's the law. It's not feelings, right? So me covering the law is not a rant. It's the law, whether they like it or not, right? Um, and then anime boobs. A anime boobs. We're, we're really going to go there? We're really going to be mad at me for, for defending anime boobs? I'm just saying. Degenerates. You guys are degenerates. I don't think that's the own that they think it is. Nico Mindset likes anime boobs. Okay. All right. <laughs> Sorry. Hello. Face of the battle, man. Okay. <laughs> okay. So let's get to this last one. Let's get to, okay. So Silvery asked me the question. I'm curious how you're anti-vax. I'm sure you have a respectable position. I'm also sure the leap to anti-vax is hilarious. So yeah, I want to clarify this because this is like ridiculous. And I've seen some of the Nietzsche sisters throwing this around. So let me clarify this correctly. I have always been anti-mandate during the course of the pandemic. I'm an American lawyer. I'm looking at American law. Some of you that are not familiar with American law, we obviously have a constitution. Our constitution grants us certain legal protections in America that are not existent in other countries. Other countries don't have laws and rules that apply as strongly as our constitution in the United States. So during the uh, pandemic, there were a lot of things that were happening in the United States that were unconstitutional. And, and any lawyer that was looking at them through the realm of the law in the Constitution, not through their feelings, looked at that and said, well, this is illegal. And it turns out that in a court case that is the highest court case in America, the highest court we have, our Supreme Court, uh, in the National, the National Federation of Independent Businesses versus the Department of Labor, Occupational Safety, Health and Standard. Uh, so OSHA, right, the NFIB versus OSHA, you can look this up, this is OEAs, which is a common site used to look up Supreme Court cases. Uh, the OSHA, the um, Occupational Health and Safety Administration, tried to push a mandate to require essentially every corporation except for very small companies under 100 employees to receive mandatory jabs or be subject to weekly testing. Uh, that, I always said, was illegal. And it turns out, and I said it was illegal and unconstitutional. I said that from the jump. It turns out that I was right about that. So do I apologize for being right about the mandate being unconstitutional? No, no, I do not apologize about that. I do not apologize for that, especially not to a fighting monkey. Zero apologies, doubling down on that. Uh, now, the, the funny thing too is, I, I love this too, the, the claim of anti-vax. I am a person who has been to over 74 countries. I have been to 74 countries. Most of these people that are the Niji sisters, they haven't left their grandma's basement. Okay. I have had to get vaccinations to travel to countries that people probably haven't even heard of. I, I have, I definitely have more vaccinations than whoever's was trying to have a vaccination competition with me. I have more vaxes than you, probably. I'm just saying. I'm just putting that out there, right? But anyways, I'm anti-vax. I'm probably more vax than you are, right? Just saying. Just saying. Just throwing it out there, right? You know, I, I've also, guys, here's some legal mindset lore. Here's some legal mindset lore. Want some legal mindset lore? I was bitten by a bat. I was bitten by a bat. The bat had rabies. I had to get the fucking rabies vaccine. I am immune to rabies for my lifetime because I had the, the fucking rabies vaccine from a rabid bat. I'm not kidding. This is real. I am the Batman. Origin story. Confirmed. This was during my time as a, as a law student. This is perhaps what set me down my dark track into the VTubing scene. My Nosferatu moment, which gave me the lust, a lust for waifus. <laughs> yeah, so once again, 
Do they have the rabies vaccine? I want to see their proof that they have the rabies vaccine. Because I think, I think I'm more vaxxed than they are. I think I'm more juicy than they are. I'm just saying. I definitely do not have the yellow fever vaccine. Disgusting. Oh, God. Killing me here. Killing me. I knew it. He's the Batman. Anti-vax is just another boogeyman buzzword. Yeah, they, they think they got me with that one. Like, you know, you don't got me with that one, right? You know, that's not the own you think this is. Oh, it's hilarious. Uh, hi, Legal Mindset. I heard about Opie, Mommy Supremacy. Yes, Mommy Supremacy. Peko Mama, I'm telling you. Legal Morb Set. Legal Batman, indeed. He could be man bat. Could be. Uh, I can't believe the bat cave is in, in Thailand. It's possible. It's possible. Tank Rat dropping 50. Thank you so much. Coming through big with the support, Tank Rat. Thank you. Appreciate you being awake, being here. Thank you so much. Tank Rat, too. He gives so much memberships. He's got to create a new one to support. Thank you. Guys. Tease in the chat for Tank Rat. Thank you so much for the gift. Thank you so much for allowing everybody access to the members-only streams because we're going to have more members-only streams. Uh, wherever I am in the world, I'm going to have those. I'm going to have those. So thank you so much for that. By the way, 2,000 people in this chat right now. If you guys could do me a solid and smash the like button, smash the like button uh, if you too, if you too enjoy the Legal Mindset Batman lore video. The lore information. Thank you, Tank Rat. I appreciate that. Tank Turtle said, he's watch. He's going to morph. Uh, vampire. Yes. The world is a vampire. <laughs> uh, Win. Oh, what's up? Good to see you. Finally able to watch your live stream. Did catch up on your VODs. Uh, did you say you're working with a corporation to write a contract that will hopefully become the standard for all VTubers? I, Neil. Yes. Idol Corporation. I am working with Idol Corporation. Abiel uh, and Idol Corporation. I am not their direct, like they're taking my comments. I am giving them comments. They can choose to accept them or reject them. I am not writing it from scratch. They already have a contract. We are improving an existing contract. So that is where we're at. But I'm going to talk about the drafting principles after we finish this Niji Sanji segment. So we're going to talk about this. In fact, I'll save this super chat just to bring back up so I get it as a reference. Tinkerlin says, don't bully the exploited billion-dollar corporation. Or are they not a billion anymore? I don't know. They're falling pretty fast. Falling pretty fast. A gym place says, Mr. Lawyer Man. That's my nickname for you when I talk about law to my family and I mention you. And it made my mom a fan, too. She likes VTubers. Yeah, my mom is getting into it as well. I mean, people are, like, falling in love with VTubers because it's good, positive, wholesome entertainment. And I am not trying to bring politics to that. The last thing I want to do is politicize it. Now, I do enjoy kind of the way of the yabbit of kind of, you know, being a little edgy, having fun, you know, and, and if people ask for my opinion, I'm going to give my opinion, but I'm not trying to politicize anything. I don't want it to be political. I want it to be an escape. That's what most people want their entertainment to be, an escape, not something that they're drawn back into the bullshit, right? Um, Spike Man, thank you for the 10 Legal Mindset Memberships. Appreciate that. Uh, I like the Spider Man says, you need an anti opi shot to stop the hemp toys. <laughs> oh, the professional says, need a gator in a Batman suit. Fan art now. It's going to happen. The gator in a Batman suit. It's happening. Uh, Tank Rat said, my alt account has memberships. Need a based clip. I got you, bro. This is for you, Tank Rat, for your memberships. I got you. Hello. Based on the bottom, man. All you, Tank Rat. Shane says, not wanting the government to have authority to tell you what to do with your own body. How utterly evil and terrible. By the way, sign this position to reinstate Roe versus Wade. I'm not trying to get political here, and I don't want to make a, a whole political. This is not meaning to politicize this. But, I mean, it, it's, it goes down the same line of thinking. If, if you're putting something in your body against somebody's choice, yeah, that's – yeah, I mean, I don't – once again, there's there's certain lines of thinking you have to say – are you squaring these things out? The pandemic was a very deranged time where people gave up logic for fear. And I don't mean to go back there. I don't want to go back there. I'm just mentioning from a legal standpoint, I stand my ground and I was proven 100% right. So I'm not backing down on my legal take at all. I'm doubling down on it. And I'm saying I was right. So trying to shame me over being right is 
kind of fucking foolish. Um, Mark's Mayhem says, thanks, member gifters, and thank you, Spike Man, for mine. Cry Rabbit, uh, Cry, Cry Cabot said, instead of mandate, if they made it so companies that they chose to do these things could get a fund bonus or tax break, would that be legal? Yes, they could have done it, but it, uh, it could have been challenged. I think it should have been challenged. I don't think they should be giving government funds for that. I think it should be voluntary. If someone wants to do it on their own, they can do it. If they don't want to do it on their own, they can you know, not do it on their own. It would be less coercive on its face, but the incentives can be just as bad as well. Right, because you're essentially subsidizing a particular behavior. Um, yeah, it's interesting. It's interesting. So there could be discrimination as well for that, because there's certain people that cannot, right, because of a medical condition, for example, like they have gear bar syndrome, right? So, anyways, not to go down that rabbit hole. Let's finish this video though uh, from Rev, because he kind of he kind of debunks this very well. Um, and shout out to Rev on this seriousness like that's your proof of him being anti-vax the fact that he talked about vaccine mandates a lawyer talking about something like that that's pretty relevant to him that's pretty ridiculous not only you're claiming he's anti-vax you're saying that people can't even associate with him anymore that's an extreme take on someone simply talking about these mandates but moving forward you can see they're making a lot of reaches uh right here saying ableist slur in the replies respectable lawyer and what legal mindset says in this screenshot is <laughs> spurg they're trying so so this is my homie sleazy so sleazy is one of my long bros from my locals chat so once again i i love how i love how people try to regulate how you speak to people who you hang out with sleazy is a guy who's in my chat he's out there he's been around and you know he's calling me a boomer and i'm calling him a spurg right it's it's a term of endearment if i'm calling you a spurg it's because i love you it's because i love you and you are probably a spurg as well but that said yeah yeah it, see look at look, looks i'm a spurg and i give you the card there you go i got a card baby uh as someone with asperger's i don't care yes 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 once again trying to get into people's conversations trying to also kill the, the fun and the, the lawyer, the, the, the funny thing here is the funny thing here is this person blocked me. So I couldn't even see this until I got, I saw this video. So until I saw the rev video, I couldn't see this. Are you fucking kidding me? I to say he's an ableist in saying a slur when he used the term spurg. That wouldn't be the only reach they would do. They would do another one here saying this. Okay. Also okay, here his we discord go. referring to false ID is apparently targeting people over the objective fact that people on 4chan use the term Niji sister as a substitute for a racial slur, not simply disagreeing or making fun of them, naming and smearing people with a much smaller reach than false. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So real quick. I've never heard of the use of Niji sister as a racial thing. Never seen it even used as a racial thing. Right. So I don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Right. Like no fucking clue. And you're bro, you're citing 4chan as your source. Your source of information is 4chan. Right. That reminds me of that. You know what that reminds me of? Have you guys ever seen this one? This is a really good meme. Uh, let me see if I can pull this up real quick. This is a good one. It reminds me of this. It reminds me of this. Guys, watch out for the waterfall. Source, where's your tinfoil hat? Conspiracy theorist! Oh, uh, I had that one pulled up. Yeah. It's just like, people are so stupid. People are so stupid. And, and, and once again, they flip out. They like, as we say, spurg out on the littlest things. Uh, Brandon, Mario Brandon says the law is what the law is. Also for mom VTubers, I know Pekka Mama is awesome and very successful, but I was thinking that an agency launched an entire generation of moms to stream on a daily basis can be very, I really agree with that. I think that could be a generation where they literally just do the mom generation. Like they can even call it generation MILF. I don't care. Or what MILF, waifu MILF. I don't care. Whatever. It would be super successful. I think people would really get behind that. I think it would have a shockingly strong showing, right? 
Uh, Ayn Atner says, in their defense, I would rather be called a racial slur than a Niji sister. <laughs> oh, fortune is not reliable, but the rat! I know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, RM. Uh, apologies for getting into the edgy side of things. It's shameless and individual hypocrisy and slander for these types of hobbies. It is, it is. It honestly is. And, and, and to me, it, it's just a bunch of hypocrisy. And uh, it, that's why I'm doing this to call that out and to also show that they're not going to get me to bend the knee. These freaks, these, these people, these cowards, they think they're going to get people to bend the knee. But what they need to realize is that this shit does not only not work, it makes them look like a fool. And we've now all dumped on them. We've dumped on them for being foolish idiots for trying to cancel us. It, it, it did not not work. And we need to show people that this is the way. This is the way, right? Stand your ground. Don't back down. And don't fucking apologize. Now, as a lawyer, if the law changes or my information changes on the law, I'll update that opinion. But I'm not going to back down and say, oh, no, I didn't do that. No, no. Take rep. For uh, 250 dinar, dinar, says, why isn't anyone not mentioning Leah's mom? She's going, no, I love Leah's mom. Leah's mom's got it going on too. I'm all about Leah's mom and like roasting her savagely. Like Leah's mom is, and Leah's mom is like definitely horny posting all the time. We, I think we've shown that, but here we go. This is Leah's mom, in case people don't know. On uh, playing Mahjong. That was hilarious, the Mahjong stream. Hilarious. Highly recommend Leah's mom. She's also got it going on. Heard about woke stodies? GW is a new Marvel. Yeah, I've heard about the the, the women custodies. We talked about that earlier. You can rewind and catch that weird. Tiglin says racial slur. Okay, what race was it referring to? When was it first used in that context? What was the context where you got Ruth? Uh, where do you do you have more brain power than an amoeba? Some nobody said, not gonna lie, you saying you could care less about wings, sides, or political BS made me decide I want to continue to support you and all your work. You found a bit broke. Keep it up, Andrew. Love you. Hey, thank you, and thank you for supporting me. I support you just if you drop a like on the video, leave some love in the chat, even without a super chat. I appreciate it, but I appreciate the donation. It helps me do this on a regular basis. It helps me know you guys are still interested and engaged in this topic. And you know, I'm now doing this, you know, like two, three months after the whole selling stuff went down, it lets me know that, hey, you guys want me to stay on top of these topics, and I'm going to because you guys are interested, right? Um, so, yeah. Val Rouge Lafarge says, we need public shaming, a bunch of Twitter freaks. Yes. And, and to say we're not going to put up with it. We're not going to put up with it. Tickleus is my source. My source is that I made it the up. Uh, I've seen that clip. I've seen that clip. It's like a clip. Um, it's from Metal Gear. Yeah. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Here. This is it. This is it. Sorry. Let me play the clip. It's it's a classic clip. Any of you have not seen this? So good. Nice argument, Senator. Why don't you back it up with a source? My source is that I made it the fuck up. So nice argument. So good. So good. So such a good clip. Um, and last, Scarlock says, 4chan doesn't use code for racial slurs. They just call you a racial slur with the N and a hard R at the end. Full on breaded. Source, hashtag Paul. That's what I assume. Every time I've gone to 4chan, I just see the slur. I don't see code words. I just see slurs. So, I mean, that's 4chan. And then Blue Cheesecake, welcome. Thank you for joining. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Welcome as a member of the BLM. All right. Let's finish up. Do I think we finished. Did we finish that video? I think we pretty much finished that. Well, let's see. Maybe a little bit more because I think Rev has a little bit more to say here. Yes, this is an issue that people are talking about right now. They are trying to claim that the term Niji sister is a substitute for a racial slur. And we would see this in this tweet that would get over a thousand likes with a screenshot of false using the term sisters referring to Niji sisters saying I shouldn't be the one to have to tell anyone this, but the term sisters 
is a ban evasion version of a racial slur usually no. used for Niji Sanji fans. No. Although sisters as a stand-in is also another way of shaming women for their interests. Don't use them. And of course they turn the replies off. Yes, brave, now, this stunning is and brave. Misinformation. Uh, Niji sister is just simply a term that people use for the strongest Niji Sanji defenders. And it's meant nothing else. Nobody on Twitter right now is using the term Niji sister to be racist or to in any way try to use a substitute for a slur. I think people trying to say slurs would just use slurs and they wouldn't call you a Niji sister. Like, let's be honest about it. And this idea that this spooky 4chan history, all of a sudden it's now uh, th this, this slur it's always been is again, a lie. And you would see people just believing anything at face value. I'm pretty sure you could convince someone that VTweeter is a 4chan originating slur if you just tell them that. Yes. Because they'll just accept it because they don't question anything. They just yes. accept it because yes. it looks good for their virtue signaling campaigns. And you can see Curry Renji here making a similar point saying, there are people out there right now outright believing that Niji sister is somehow equivalent to a racial slur and are losing their minds. Hilarious and in equal measure, incredibly stupid. See, these people down here, a lot of them are from the VTubing scene. Some are VTubers themselves, and they just, it's like a switch. All of a sudden now, they genuinely believe that Niji sister is some kind of a slur. And if you look here, here's some examples. Last retweet, take note, might be time to retire the Niji sister names, y'all. This person expressing their discomfort and disappointment in themselves <clears throat> for previously using the term Niji sisters. This person saying, I'm seriously so sorry I've been saying this. I think as a collective, we truly didn't know that what they were implying, uh, forgive me if I hurt anyone when I used it before. And I'm so sorry to the POC fans and friends. Here's another one from the VTuber journalist, Ducky. Okay, this, this guy, is the, and this guy, once again, is the simp, the Niji Sanji simp. So here's the question. Where did all this come from? Where did all this come from? Could it be pushed by Ducky, who's paid by Niji Sanji or under the influence of Niji Sanji or another? Could it even come from inside of Niji Sanji? Could some of these accounts be made by these $7 an hour employees, these kids, these high schoolers, these under eight, these, these very young people that are making accounts and are trying to cause this? Because you see this Pavlovian response, right? Here's the rat is that Niji Sanji is the one who's trying to get rid of this term, right? Ducky the Cucky here, circling back around. All, it's very plausible. Once again, it's a plausible theory. I'm willing to believe this. But the thing is, and, and Rev is pointing this out, the problem is this Pavlovian response, this automatic response to somebody says, some random no-name account says, it's a slur. And then all of a sudden, people treat it as one. You could say any, you could say that about anything and, and try to get you to jump and do it. And you shouldn't do that, right? You should never, when someone just says something, no, I'm not going to do that for that reason. No, screw you. Just because you're defining it as a, as a slur now? No, that's 1984. That's, that's newspeak. Every language is changing all the time to be a slur. No. They're not real. They're not real. These accounts are not real. Uh, thinking of Fubuki says, this sort of thing is what happens when you start work, you start with a conclusion and work backwards to desperately try to support it. Yes, exactly. Tinkalin says, as a linguistic student, this hurts my soul. Judon, my soul. Yes. And then again, uh, Tinkalin said, saying for five, the Niji Sanji race, ethnicity, culture, racial group. Do they know what racial means? I really want to know if they know how to read. Yeah, what is Niji? What's the race of Niji Sanji? Isn't it kind of racist to assume that Niji Sanji has a race? Is Niji Sanji Japanese? Well, that's racist. That assumes that they're all Japanese. What? Uh, our only clip I'll request is Clara doesn't like waffles eight seconds long. Well, Gordo, we're, we're, I, I, I'm it's gonna have to be another stream, my brother, because we're already. I'm, I've got a lot still to get to but I can get it on another stream. Uh, that's where all the clip requests will have to go today. I'm sorry, guys. God, we still got a lot to go through. 
Uh, Blue Dust Bunny says, I thought sisters was used as a term to describe people gossiping like a sorority club. The people That's how I assumed it, right? That's how I assumed it was like gossip, like mean girls, you know, which is funny to me. I like the Spike Man says, how are Disney goofs and Niji sisters in the same damn group? It's almost like poetry. This is why I like covering both organizations because they have a lot of similarities in their deranged fandom. The Disney Defenders and the Nietzsche Sisters are very close in their level of delusion. Ed says meme on them until they cry and then make memes of them crying. Sun Tzu, the art of war. This is how these people should be treated. Indeed, indeed. Meme them into oblivion. John D. Cormack says 4chan loves trolling people. They started the OK sign being white supremacy as a troll take. They are not a reliable, reliable source. Yes, I agree with that. That OK sign was like ridiculous. Um, Hugo LaRue says, hey, Andrew, do you know about MXR plays? If so, do you plan on commenting on the recent scam video? Uh, if not, I just want to say keep up the good work based mindset. Hugo, email me about this. I do not know about this at all. Email me and inform me about it, and I will look at it and see if I can cover it. Mark says, for 125 Filipino pesos, thank you for buying me my pandasal today. Uh, the, the Starbucks in, in the Philippines has this Spanish chorizo, egg and cheese, like sandwich, pandasal sandwich. I don't like Starbucks food. It's normally fucking garbage, but this is actually really fucking good. Like I will go actively and get that if I see it's available. It does sell out, but yeah, I'll, I'll definitely be investing those pesos there. Thank you for that. Uh, never apologize by Jet. I'll put that in the queue for next clip stream. We're going to have a clip stream soon, so don't worry about it. I'll put that in the queue. Uh, Monster Lord says, for some reason, everything that doesn't fit into the world is either a slur or a buzzword simply because they do not like opposite opinions. Indeed, they don't want to hear anything opposing them. It's sad. Another wet fart here saying, I first saw this term floating around 12 to 18 months ago. Whether the slur came first or the safe version was hijacked doesn't matter. I never liked the term, and I'm glad its origins back to at least 2021, thanks to Fyro driving into the fray, have come out. And I see two, peop uh, two people here that I definitely respect in terms of their knowledge of VTubers and the VTubing scene, Kyo and Kenny here. There and go. their response, I think, sums up all the very easy criticism of these claims that people like Ducky are making. So Kyo says this, this might just be one of the dumbest things I've read in a while. No one is using Niji Sisters on Twitter is even remotely aware of its, in quotes, origins. It's the Niji version of Hollow Bros at this point. It's what people call diehard Niji. And let's just, let's stop it at that because that's the part I wanted to get to. That's the punctuation is, that's the reason I use it. I just use it as diehard fans, right? Like, I didn't know Hollow Bros was a thing, but fine. Like, I'll use Hollow Bros on the other side, right? Like, Niji Sisters, Hollow Bros, what's offensive about that? Nothing. Zero. So, to attempt to cancel fully failed by the Niji Sisters. That's yet another L in their column. Uh, as a horror channel, says Niji is not white. If not, Uki would have left. Well, I don't know. if you, Did you guys see... Uh, the ad, the apartment ad, I was like, Uki would get mad at. So I um, was uh, here, uh, you know, here looking at uh, different apartments in the Philippines. And this is one in Manila. Now, once again, this is only one that I found. This is like one owner out of fucking, you know, dozens and dozens and dozens of people. But I was like, rip Uki uh, under this. He would not be allowed in this apartment. So we had here this this requirement. This is uh, from a, a realtor here. Uh, two plus two PDC. PDC means uh, predated checks. Six months advance if no predated checks. Uh, if no full time employment, one year advance. If Chinese should be working for a large corporation, no single Korean male, no Indian. And, and these are these are like apartment terms, right? Um, I was like rip Uki. Uh, although somebody responded to that and was like, well, he identifies as a female because he was on the girl stream. I'm like, oh, well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I presumed his gender. Right. I'm sorry I presumed his gender. 
<laughs> but yeah, that was, uh, and once again, that's just one unit. No other unit in Manila has done that. That was just one specific unit, one specific owner. But I was like, bro, that's wildly specific that it's single Korean males, not Korean females, not people who are dating or married, just single men, just single men, right? Specifically. Uh, Meme Copium says, Andrew's bamboo table runs in the shaky camera from the Copium show. Uh, don't make me ban you, Meme Copium. I will ban my mod. I will time out my mods, okay? You think I'm beyond that, Meme Copium? You think I'm beyond that? It's because you're over there in Osaka, acting all smug. Uh, Indian, I don't know. Could be for a lot of reasons. I'm not going to presume. <laughs> Could be for a lot of reasons. I, I, there's a lot of particular reasons. Who knows? Uh, I feel my brain cells melting away with each of these tweets. If sister is a slur, might as well be all the same for all family. Bro, uncle, auntie. Shane says, to steal man, 4chan's V-tweeter uses Niji N-word and Niji sister to both mean Ninji fans, but one doesn't mean the other. They both mean Niji fans on 4chan. 4chan calls everyone slurs they always have. It's 4chan. Using 4chan as a source is brain dead. It's 39 IQ. Uh, and we used to call television the fast way to slam. No, no, no. That's the internet. I was told in a mandatory equity training that saying y'all was a microaggression. What the fuck? I'm from the South. Wait, really? Y'all is a microaggression? No. Uh, like, y'all. What the fuck? I say y'all all the time. And I would think they would like y'all because y'all is gender neutral. Y'all is gender neutral. Like, how can you even have a problem with that? Like, the woke should love y'all because y'all doesn't presume a gender. It's just you all. What's wrong with that? Also, I agree. Y'all need you sisters, need Jesus. <laughs> Hello. Special department. Uh, funny. Weird says, uh, you're going to react to the activists that threatened to commit murder in the courtroom and the judge sent her to jail. I think... They think Twitter's real. Well, no, I haven't seen that. So you have to send that to me, weird. Oreo for 500 yen. Arigato gozaimasu. Hey, I have 2% Niji blood in my veins. I take great offense at slandering my race. <laughs> Oreo. Uh, yes, I'm slandering all Japanese by slandering Niji Sanji, right? I've offended the family. Uh, Sen Kas uh, Kaslana says, I received today a mass report of two tweets of Sink the Yacht. Had to remove them. And today I got a DCMA for reposting an AR live stream shot. What absolute chodes. Niji Saji, they're absolute losers. Uh, Adoba from Paradox uh, became a member here uh, at the RPG level. Thank you so much for becoming a member. I appreciate you. 78 new members today. Thank you for being so based. I appreciate it. Fox Eye Valkyrie says, C. Niji is, is starting to DCMA people on Twitter who posted screenshots of, the, of their concert. Guys, if you have been DCMA'd, show me a screenshot of it. Send it to me. We're going to call them out and we're going to uh, create a campaign uh, of, cop of DCMA abuse against them and publicize that they are abusing DCMA. We're going to get them on this one. So uh, send me a screenshot. Show me. Send them my email. Let's fight back against Niji Sanji when they try to do this. Let's call them out. Let's fight them back. Let's beat them in the PR campaign, right? Because their their PR is paying seven dollars. We are getting a little bit more. A little paid a little bit more than fighting monkey. We can beat them. DMCA. Sorry. DMCA. DMCA. All right. I've been using y'all since I was learning English 16 years ago. It's a great word. It's a fantastic word. All right. Let me get to my next story, which is about Yuri Shirakawa. So Yuri Shirakawa emailed me. Now, Yuri Shirakawa, you guys may or may not remember, Yuri Shirakawa was the young lady who she doesn't want to say the name of the company because she got in trouble for it. But I covered it on this channel. I covered it on my channel. And she was threatened by a certain corporation, 
which may or may not have been talked about in the stream already, um, and told by the higher ups that she was dumb and threatened and all sorts of other issues, right? And this is the artist, right? You know, apparently I didn't know that she has an AS an ASMR channel. Now I have not verified this, but she sent me her she sent me her um, like donation for mental health. So um, let's say Yuri Shirakawa, VTuber's hobby is making sounds that make you fall asleep, right? And she has a donation here, I guess, for her mental health. Now, this is in Japanese, so I translated this into English. But um, she, you know, really, you know, was having problems with her mental health after this came down. She was harassed. She had that issue of power harassment, right? Um, she had a piece of paper from her lawyer made, made to make something. Uh, but I would like to continue and post videos on YouTube, perform live, live 3D and other creative activities. And apparently, so this is her donation page, which is in the description, but apparently you can look her up here on YouTube for her ASMR channel. She has an ASMR channel uh, here, which I can link, uh, which is, you know, just her doing ASMR, so. Uh, you can support her by going over her channel, by subscribing to her channel here, uh, and uh, you know by giving some support. So that said, uh, if you guys want to support, it's in the description. Uh, once again, I, I try to help people when I can, and I try to stand up for people when they don't have a voice and when they're being um, taken advantage of. Um, so just want to throw that out there. Throw it out there. Um, <laughs> Sizes. As a broke Filipino college student, the Starbucks plan is all nice, but something I just can't buy regularly. I understand. I understand. Listen, I get it. You're a broke college student. I get you. I get you, Blue Cheesecake. Appreciate you. Shout out to you. Keep working hard. Um, so stay based, Andrew Archim. Yeah, and I just wanted to stick up for people. You know, I feel like she got a raw deal. So if you want to support her, the link is in my bio. Feel free to do it if you want to. Uh, and if you don't want to, that's fine with you. Um, so before we get into, hold on here, Dave Chua for 250 says, I don't know how much a Starbucks Teresa Pondesol costs, but Teresa Pondesol funds also fucking monkey. It won't let you type it out. What do you mean it won't let you type it out? Monkey. How dare they? Thank you so much, Dave. Uh, so nobody says, like I said before, they said Niji Scissors is a slur. We could always categorize them as Niji Sinners instead for the crimes they have committed. Indeed. They are Niji sinners for sure. Goro Gamer for 1999 says, y'all is a microaggression. Reputation with checks is Texas James Girl Hostel. <laughs> Texas is like, fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. That is 100% Texas if you ban the word y'all. Wild Cade says, I blame you. Every time I hear ASMR, I think of Vox and the creepy head mic thing. Oh, my God. The boyfriend ASMR? Hey, is my, is my morning wood poking you? Oh, I'm sorry. We just, it's from, it's from us doing it 32 times last night. Oh, my God. The, the first time I heard that ASMR stuff, I was like, no, no. Like, this is not real. That's that's what it is. That's the that's the boyfriend ASMR. Silver is off top, but I'm imagining America making official boat VTuber and responding to her being disliked bomb. Don't touch America's boats. I love it. Yes, don't mess with the boats, baby. Oh man, it's great. Docs Akuma coming back on the 22nd. You guys are ready for it. You guys are ready for that Vox Tanga. Strap in with that Vox Tenga. Gordo says, as someone from Texas, I speak for us. I I, I understand y'all. I understand. I love Texas. I have a great time in Texas. Andrew with the $7 an hour boyfriend. No, I have the lawyer ASMR. Listen, um, Rima, I know you had an objection, but we're going to need to take that up in the office. Um, Nusagi, bailiff Nusagi, um, you're going to need to take this size queen back where she belongs. Uh, hilarious, hilarious. I love you guys. Mods, ban him. 
No, I, I, I was I was mind broken by Parrot and Rima and uh, DN's um, hentai stream. That that definitely mind broke me. Uh, all right. So let's go from ASMR to talking about wholesome contract principles, right? But that, that's a good segue, right? It's a good segue. Um, okay. So before we do the Helldivers Fund contract, I want to talk about legal contract principles in general and the principles I've used to review the idle contract. So I am now done reviewing my initial review of the idle contract. So I submitted that to Aviel to idle so they have my comments. Whether or not they use them is up in the air. They may, Idle can totally ignore every single thing I send them. But I want to talk about what I look for in a contract. Number one, I try to make it more clear. I try to make it basic English, understandable. If it's confusing, if it's weirdly worded, I clear that up. I try to make it ways you can understand. Now, it's still got to have some legal language in there. It's got to have some because you got to be able to understand it. But I try to make sure it's as clear as possible. I also try to make it as clean as possible, make sure it's formatted legibly, make sure that any defined terms, any special terms are capitalized so it's clear that's a defined term, it's a special term. I also make sure there's headers if as need be, and if there need to be subheaders, there's subheaders. That's actually super important for contracts. I know it sounds like a, a pickety thing or a, just a, a little fluff part, but it actually makes a big deal because a lot of times you'll miss whole clauses uh, because they're not having an appropriate header or they're under the wrong section. So it's very, very important for that. Next, I was trying to make it from the purpose of the VTuber or the talent wanting to be as free as possible as an independent contractor. Now, this is a big thing. Are they independent contractors or are they employees? Well, is it possible that a court looking at what they're doing could determine that they're employees, yes. But the real thing with an independent contractor is they're still allowed to do stuff. Now, I understand with VTubers, you cannot have them working for a competing company, but if they wanna be independent, they should be allowed to be independent, especially with a different character. That is the definition that would fit within the definition of an independent contractor if they're going to be able to be independent and also uh, work with you, right? Um, that will make sense. And trying to preserve their kind of independence as much as possible. Now, there have to be certain limitations, obviously. There have to be certain give and take between company and VTuber. But to try to make sure they're as independent as possible and as free to just create the content they want. Now, yes, there has to be a minimum, but hey, let's be flexible. Also, I wrote in time and clauses to allow people to take mental health breaks, to allow people to have time when they need time, you know? So they don't have to constantly worry, okay, am I gonna get fired if I don't do X amount per week? There's an ability to come to an agreement, come to a consensus, okay, we are gonna have uh, mental health, you know, and issues, or so I need to take a break. And we're going to do that, right? And that can be mutually agreed upon. That's my perspective is, hey, the talent is going to need to take a break every once in a while. I need to take a break. I just took a break to Boracay. I was in four days in Boracay, right? I barely said anything. And there were some clips that came out. There were some, uh, and also shout out to Eagle, Eagle Clipper, who is now uh, helping me with clips. Um, you know, I had some clips out, but that was about it. Take time off. You guys need time off. I understand as a streamer, and VTubers are streamers too. Just because I'm in the flesh and they're in the tube, and they're in the 2D, doesn't mean that we're any different from the form of burnout. So trying to fight burnout is big. Ah, there's Eagle. Eagle, get on it. You're Eagle, you're going to have at least four clips from here, okay? Helldivers clip. Niji Sanji train wreck clip. Cancellation clip. And then probably if you want to do this as a clip too, that's fine. A lot of clips for you. So shout out to Eagle there. Very based. Eagle pill. Also, Spike Man, based with the five legal mindset memberships. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. But yes, those are, those are uh, important principles. Next, I wanted to make it Western law. So conforming to U.S. law or generally law that's similar to the U.S. So my comments were very much angled towards the U.S. and American law, not foreign law or other places. So trying to make it into conformity with that. Also, trying to make it very clear 
in terms of termination, firing, punishment, what's going on, because we want to make sure that if something is going down, there's clear reason or clear uh, ability to know what's happening in the province. And also make sure that the liability, when there is liability, is on the appropriate party because they screwed up, right? So if somebody genuinely made a mistake, they're the ones who are going to be responsible. So those are my general principles. So you guys will see the contract eventually, and I'm going to have an interview with Aviel probably in uh, the next month. He's really busy in April. But uh, that is some general principles of what I look for and what I do when I am reviewing contracts like I did with the idle contract. So I'm very excited to talk about that. When it comes out, we're going to even uh, show it. We'll have the uh, contract to show. Not yet, but eventually. Chaos Smashes. Legal ASMR involves a gavel and bleeding eardrums. Indeed. Mario LTL for 100 says, this is my only a personal opinion, but if Niji wants competent people for what they pay, they need to hire people from my country. Their offer is four times the minimum here. Dude, that would kill it. People really need to think into outsourcing. I mean, one of the reasons I... Um, you know, appreciate the Philippines is I'm able to get really awesome talent um, that speaks English and, uh, you know, can help me with a couple of things I need for my business side, my non, the, my non YouTube business side, and, you know, can work with that. I think a lot of people should look at outsourcing, um, you know, or just as a way to get more done and to produce more for their audience. I think it can do a lot, especially for YouTubers. Um, but obviously make sure the quality is good. The quality needs to be good. Um, P says, what season is Nietzsche drama in? Somebody says, it, it's, it's a, a season of love, baby. It's a season of love. It's just, it never stops. All right. The Helldivers contract. Let's fucking go. This was suggested to me a while ago, and I wanted to do it on that stream before, but I didn't have a chance because I had to run. I had to go. It was, uh, I was already behind. Um, it was just just real bad. Um, so I'm glad to get to it now. So this is the Hell Diver contract of employment democracy, uh, which is obviously taken from like the stila, the the kind of rock that's there that you kind of glance up to in the graduation chamber, which you can barely see, right? It's like barely legible. But of course, you people on the internet, you people. You uh, got all the details. So let's read through this and see how ridiculous this Hell Divers contract is uh, for all those that are managing democracy. The following contract is made and entered into between the Hell Divers Division of Super Earth Armed Forces, hereby referred to as the Enlister, and the individual who successfully completed their preliminary Hell Diver training as set forth in Exhibit A of the Super Earth Armed Forces Recruitment and Retention Manual, Part 27B-10264, hereby referred to as the Enlisted. The following contract is entered into willingly, and the Enlisted confirms they have the authority to enter in such agreement at this time, being of signed now mind and body and legal age and citizenship grade E. Grade E. And a butt. Wait, what's grade E? What's grade E? Is grade E for everyone? Grade E for Super Earth? What's grade E? I mean, so far, so far this holds up. So the intro clause holds up. Let's go. Services. This is very important, guys. In any contract, make sure you understand the services you're going to be performing. The enlisted shall perform the services outlined in Appendix A in accordance with the operational directives identified by Super Earth High Command, the President of Super Earth, the Democratic Council of Super Earth, accredited employees of the ministries of Super Earth, accredited representatives of the parties of aforementioned in Clause 1.1 uh, I through V, and accredited representatives of those representatives, uh, hereby referred to as the authorized command structure. The authorized command structure may at any point without any prior notice make amendments to the schedule of services outlined in Appendix A. A copy of Appendix A may, if required, be obtained by the enlisted through con contacting the relevant authorities in the SE Super Earth uh, AF Armed Forces Administration Corps with the hard copy of the appendix to be delivered to the requesting enlisted within five to ten business years. I love it. Five to 10 business years. That's some Kurosanji level stuff right there. The services performed by the enlisted for the enlister shall include, but are not limited to, active combat, 
which may include, but shall not be limited to, raids, deployments, invasions, sorties, forays, assaults, blitzes, incursions, onslaughts, liberations, raising, flattenings, and nukings, non-combat, which shall involve parades, interviews, signings, appearances, executions, both summary and otherwise. Very thoughtful. Interplanetary transportation, including escort of Democrat, uh, civilian or Democratic vessels. I love how Democratic is like, in military vessels, but they're democratic vessels. And any activity deemed necessary in the pursuit of the aims identified by the enlister or the authorized command structure in order to en enable the full and complete enactment, enlisted is authorized to employ lethal force, non-lethal force, non-lethal, non-force, lethal, non-force to be employed at the discretion of the enlisted. Enlisted may not subcontract in whole or impart any of the duties required them by the enlister. So see, no... This is no uh, subcontracting. Guys, never allow subcontracting when you can avoid it. Lethal, non-lethal force. Uh, lethal, non-force, I have not heard before. That's a new one for me. So that's a new one. You guys can tell me what that means. Um, in order to enable the completion of services in an efficient, timely manner, the enlisted will be entrusted with the command of a Class 6 Super Destroyer series crewed interplanetary combat vessel, hereby referred to as the Super Destroyer. Upon termination of the contract, the enlisted command of the Super Destroyer will be transferred to the next eligible enlisted in order designated by the serving shipmaster, the enlister, or the authorized command structure. Accredited representatives of the parties in clauses 1.3i to 1.3113, the heirs, successors, and assigns of the enlisted have no right to claim or interest in the ownership or command of the super destroyer. Should the actions of the enlisted result in the loss, damages, or impediments of the super destroyer requiring ameliorative or restorative action, the cost of such repair shall be subcontracted from the martyrdom payment due to the heirs and, excess and successors of the enlisted. Martyrdom payment! Martyrdom payment! Now we're talking. Now we're talking. By the way, has Andrew heard of 40K? Of course. Come on, man. Come on. I love 40K. The enlisted shall be responsible for purchasing, maintenance, replacement, improvement of equipment used for the provision of services. If the contract of the enlisted is terminated due to the conditions outlined in Clause 5.1, absence of pulse, you mean death? The equipment purchased, maintained, and replaced by the enlisted shall stay with the destroyer and shall be made available to the next hell diver to command the vessel. So you're, you're not entitled to a will. All your shit is going to the next hell diver. Okay, that's a little different. A little different there. Remuneration. <laughs> so there's no probate. No probate in super. Early. So remuneration is payment. As performance for the services, the held ever shall receive monetary compensation for the services rendered. The payment shall be in line with the services rendered. The enlister reserves the right at any time without prior notice to make amendments to the schedule of payments. That means they cannot pay you. So Super Earth can decide to not pay you. The enlister acknowledges the position of enlisted hell diver is a classified Super Earth Ministry of Employment as a exceptionally patriotic duty. Accordingly, upon commencement of delivery of uh, services, the immediate family members of the enlisted, defined as parents, siblings, heirs, and successors, shall receive 4.5 citizenship points to be allocated to the recipient's discretion. This compensation shall be non-transferable and shall be exchanged and not exchanged for cash equivalent. Nice citizenship points. Okay, that's something, I guess. Uh, in the in the addition of non-continuation of the alive status, so meaning they die. Uh, the enlisted in the course of the rendition of services, a martyrdom payment shall be made to the immediate family members of the enlisted, minus any dispensations outlined in 1.3. Confidentiality. In the course of the rendition of services, the enlisted is likely to become exposed to information strategic appointments, in not including but not limited to maps, mission briefings, internal pro procedure, details of products, prices, and seasonal discounts. The enlisted and enlisted agree that all privileged information, collectively classified materials, viewed by the enlisted shall be maintained in the strictest secrecy by the enlisted, with all reasonable efforts made to avoid the transfer, leakage, dissemination, publication, conveyance, and or seepage. Seepage is not a normal legal term. I just going to say, I normally don't see seepage very much as a legal term. Um, 
of classified material and shall be provided in formats traced to the enlisted in, in the event of transfer leakage, dissemination, publication, conveyance, and or seepage. The enlisted agrees to return any and all data, documents, directories, manuals, maps uh, pertaining as classified to the enlisted. Any information made to the enlisted outside of operational parameters, which is not considered customarily known to the general citizenry or was not known to the enlisted prior to the uh, commencement, shall be known as controlled classified materials. For access to controlled classified materials, explicit advanced written consent must be obtained by the enlisted. To read about the terms and conditions in full, should there be a breach, read clause 3.2. Indemnification. That means you're promising to cover the other. So the enlisted shall be solely responsible for all damages, harms, liability, costs, expenses, craters, atrocities, crimes, civil, uncivil, war, caused, created, and generated during the course and rendition of services. The enlisted hereby indemnifies the enlister in the authorized command structure, including but not limited to any employees, representatives, heirs, successors, and assigns against all challenges, costs, losses, damages, and expenses without limitation arising related to in any way the renditions of services by enlisted. Typically, you can't indemnify for war, but here's a first. This is a first in the Hell Diver contract. Any damage sustained by the enlisted, whether reputational or corporeal, including, but not limited to, incineration, evisceration, spinal separation, vaporization, crushing, freezing, burning, decapitation, paper cuts, explosion, contusion, removal of arms and limbs, addition of arms and limbs, addition of arms and limbs. Wait, what? 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 Hell divers are, are the bugs? Rat? Okay, um, anyways, uh, dizziness, nausea, shortness of breath, or death shall not be considered the responsibility of the enlister. The enlisted shall not hold the enlister in whole or in part responsible for what they return in whole or in part. Wait, what? Whether they return in whole or in part. Oh, my God. So even if they come back in pieces, they're not responsible. Termination. The agreement will be governed by the laws of super earth. No dirty automaton law here, guys. Shall be terminated in the event that the enlisted is mortally wounded and that medical attention shall not be financially or, or physically justifiable. The enlisted engages in seditious, dangerous, or traitorous thoughts, opinions, actions, or sentiments. The enlister, and so that is super earth, for any reason can terminate this contract. Notice of cause for termination not required. The provisions of sections one, two, three, four, five, six shall survive termination. See, this is how you do. How is it that the Hell Diver meme contract can write a survival clause better than Niji Sanji? The Hell Diver meme contract wrote a better real survival clause than Niji Sanji. For Super Earth. Uh, general provisions. The illicit consents to the personal information, including but not limited to biometric, patriotic, and demographic data to be collected and processed by the enlister, the authorized command structure, and appropriate agents of Super Earth and Democratic Council. The illicit consents to personal samples. Wait, what? Okay, so there's no personal health information in Super Earth. Not include, including, but not limited to flesh, bone, and blood to be collected by the enlisted the command structure and agents of Super Earth and the Democratic Council. The enlisted provides unequivocal and irrevocable consent to the use of experimental weapons, technologies, and narcotics. Narcotics are supposed to be illegal. The definition of narcotic would be an illegal substance, right? So... Yeah, um, the contract shall be binding upon being read in whole or in part. This is totally not legal in modern America, but you know, you know, curl, 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 super earth, gonna curl, super earth. For purpose of the elimination of doubt, the enlisted spending one second within 15 meters of a copy of the contract will shall be interpreted as the contract being read. I love that last term. Standing for one second within 15 meters of the contract means you read it. 
congratulations. You're up there with Niji Sanji in black contracts. You're up there in Niji Sanji with black contracts. Congrats, guys. Congrats. I hope you're proud. All right. Let's get these uh, let's get these uh, chats and also memberships. Val Rouge, La Fox. Welcome as a YouTube member. Win Traveler says, not a super worth lawyer. Analysis invalid. Indeed. Indeed. You're going to see the angry Niji sisters like, he's not a super earth lawyer. He's not barred in super earth. Fucking monkey. Uh, Jacob says, honestly, Helldiver seems more like a game Remo would be into. For managed Remocracy. Get her into it. The pony might ride out on it. Arch Lord Dune Rider says, you people, don't you mean y'all? Indeed, y'all. Indeed. Five to ten business years, that would be, be a copy embedded on the same size and kind as a plaque. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's the point, right? It comes on, like, the steel end, the, the giant fucking monolith. Repton94 says, lethal non-force is vicious mockery in D&D. Oh, true, true. Uh, Wild Kane for two says, this contract has better language than any color. Oof. You said that before I did, so you called it there. Silvery said, which held ever got paper cup remunerations? Hey, listen, man, you gotta you gotta pay out for those paper cuts. You gotta pay out for those paper cuts. Uh, cyber scum are known to add limbs. Oh, cyborg. Yes, true. True. Good point about those dirty, dirty cyborgs. And last but not least, the difference is I'm having fun being a hell diver. Can't say the same. For the livers of Niji Sanji. Monkey on call says, is there a line saying it's considered traitorous to actually stand there and read it? Wait, no, no, I didn't see that line in there. Did not see that line in there. Don says, like how, bro, is the diver's contract so airtight as a meme better than Niji? It's true. The diver's contract is more solid than the Niji contract. I could probably defend the hell diver's contract better than I could defend the Niji Sanji contract. Not even gonna lie about that. It it's ridiculous. It's 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 ridiculous. That said, guys, that's all we have for today. Thank you so much, guys, for staying by, for being so based. It's been fucking awesome to be back. And thank you guys for supporting the channel. Your support is what helps me do this. And I'm glad to see 2,000 plus people coming out to watch my show, even though I've been gone for like couple days on vacation here in Boracay. I'm going to try to be streaming probably every other day while I'm here. I'll be back in Bangkok. I don't know whether it's next week or, you know, in a, in a, in a bit, in a minute, probably within a week, I'll be back in Bangkok, but it's been really awesome to hang out with you guys. I really missed you guys. I missed the chat. You guys are freaking awesome. Make sure you leave a like and a comment. If you're catching the video of the day, make sure you comment as well. You guys, no matter what you do, make sure that you remember whenever anybody tries to talk shit, when they try to cancel you, don't worry, it's not a sin. I cannot absolve you. Mega based. And also Black Sheep Boy says, Andrew, you look like the dude in the opening cutscene of Hell Divers. Well, you do what you have to do for Super Earth. And on that note, let's leave you the class. Maybe I have a chance.